Yo, 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 wow, guan, what's good? Or if you prefer, hello, how are you? I hope you're well. It's Kit Man and Man, and I've just reached 1,000 subscribers. It has been a long, long, long journey. Um, massive thank you to every single one of you. Yeah, 1,000 plus people that have subscribed to my little old YouTube channel where I talk rubbish about football shirts and football in general. To celebrate reaching 1,000 subs. I'm going to do a little question and answer session. Um, but before you do that, if you're not already one of the 1,000 people that are subscribed to the channel, yeah, smash that button. Let's get me up to 2,000 subs ASAP. Yeah, so subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up, right? Turn on the bell notification so you don't miss an upload. Before I actually get all the way into it, um, I want to big up Avnish. I hope you're pronouncing your name correctly. Avnish from Instagram, who sent me over this amazing video um, of the, the second where he became the 1,000th subscriber to my YouTube channel. So, Avnish, you're an absolute G. Thank you very much. Yeah, <laughs> you are my 1,000th subscriber. Right, so, question and answer session. Yeah? So, I put it out to my Instagram followers and my Twitter followers, and I got quite a good response. So, first question from Sam, SH Shirts. Um, if you are a chick, who's the one guy you would sleep with? For crying out loud, Sam, man. Um, I can't even comprehend it. But, let's have it right. David Beckham was a very, 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 actually still is a very, very handsome young man. So... David Beckham, I suppose, but it's a bit of a weird question. I don't know. Yeah, like, yeah, maybe David Beckham. Next one is from Cutting Edge Shirts. Do you think there will ever be a boy born that can swim faster than a shark? <laughs> Wait, what? Like, I haven't actually pre read these questions. Do you think there will ever be a boy born that can swim faster than a shark? Um, no. Um, sharks are amphibious creatures. Humans are on land. I don't think there will ever be a boy that can swim faster than a shark. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's a jokes question. Right, next one is from Cole Griffin on my Instagram. He asked, best Liverpool shirt in my opinion. Um, Liverpool have had some absolute banging shirts over the years, especially back in the 90s. Um, I can't think of the year, but I think it's like the 1990 home candy one with, um, it looks like broken glass in it. That's a banger. Um, the 1996 all cream one with like the red paneling. That's a banger as well. Um, I think it's 1994, the away one, the white with the green, with the Adidas that comes up from there. I like that one as well. But I think my favourite is, I want to say 1995 off the top of my head maybe. It's the half green, half white. They kind of recreated it. Nike have kind of recreated it for their shirt, their away shirt for this year, coming up the 2023-24 season. But yeah, the half-half white and green adidas shirt is probably my favorite liverpool shirt i might change my mind again tomorrow but i hope that answers your question the next one is from seb exel if you could get rid of all your football shirts but free which free are you keeping and why oh my god um oh my gosh um Free. 
I don't think I could get rid of free shirts, let alone only keep free shirts. Um, right, let me not think about this too, too much. Fiorentina 98 Nintendo sponsor. Um, because that is just the probably the most iconic shirt from my childhood that just, just burnt into my memory, especially with Batistuta. Um... My Arsenal 2019 home shirt with Ian Wright painted on it, signed by the man himself. Yeah, big up Art and Shirts FC. Yeah, who absolutely smashed it by painting on that shirt. Um, do you know what? I'm going to link the video to when I actually got the shirt signed by Ian Wright up here. Um, that's two. And the third one, it might actually have to be my Art on Shirt FC Ronaldo piece as well. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't want to get rid of any. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Art on Shirts Ronaldo piece. So the two pieces from Art on Shirts and the Fiorentina 98 Nintendo sponsor. Um... But just for the record, I'll be sad to see <laughs> any shirt go, um, let alone only keeping free. The next one is from Calico Corner on Instagram. Who's the player that made you fall in love with the beautiful game? Um, the first, the easy answer, not the easy answer is Ian Wright. He is the reason why I support Arsenal and why I love football growing up in the early 90s. Like, you guys have heard this story enough times. But I think, I genuinely feel like R9 Ronaldo, he is my first superstar. Ian Wright was like my idol, my hero, but like that first superstar player that I was like, like, wow. Like, I just, it's like a different kind of feeling. Um, yeah, definitely R9 Ronaldo. So the next one is from Official Boaty. Um, when you're going to wear a Newcastle shirt? Um, never. But I'll be honest with you, I don't have a problem with Newcastle. And one of my favourite ever shirts in the Premier League is a Newcastle shirt. Um, they've actually got two or three that I really like. But I want to say Newcastle 1995 away. The blue and the blue and burgundy hoops with the Newcastle L sponsor with the little granddad collar, like Prime Ginola era. That is one of my favourite shirts. But even the home one from that season is a banger. And the goalkeeper shirt that um, has the Newcastle skyline on it. Like sensational, sensational football shirt. Next one from the football shirt guy. How much would you need paying to wear a spur shirt? Um, how much would I need paying to wear a spur shirt? Do you want my honest answer? Or do you want the answer that everyone wants me to say? Never. I, you can offer me any amount of money. You, there is no amount of money that you can offer me for me to wear a Tottenham shirt. But I'm going to be really, really, really realistic, right, with you guys. If I was offered life-changing sums of money to wear a Tottenham shirt, I absolutely would. Like, generational wealth money. If we're talking into the tens of millions, I, 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 I will absolutely would wear it. And I'd wear it and smile because my family is secured for the next how many generations. I'm not gonna get political, but obviously in a time where everyone's talking about players going off to Saudi Arabia to make mega money for football, I get it. Because footballers do it all the time, yeah? Harry Kane, prime example, he was an Arsenal fan. Well, it looked like he was an Arsenal fan anyway. And he's out here wearing a Tottenham shirt, week in, week out, for life-changing money, generational wealth amounts of money. So I will do the same right don't mean i'll support them or anything but if the deal was literally put on a tottenham shirt for a minute and we pay you 10 million pounds absolutely so 
if you got £10 million pound you want to send me, yeah, I'll put on a Tottenham shirt. Do you know what? I'm actually selling a Tottenham shirt at the moment. So, I've even got one here. You ain't even got to send me the shirt. I'll wear a Tottenham shirt for £10 million, pound, right? Cool. Um, if you weren't an Arsenal supporter, who would you support and why? Um, this one is from Ben's Freds. If I was not an Arsenal supporter, I would probably be a Manchester United supporter. Um, only because my nan was a Manchester United supporter and she is the reason why I love sports so much and love football. I spent so many hours watching uh, all kinds of sports with my nan. Like Anyone that's been around the channel or has been on my socials know the connection that I have with my nan. And... Um, is actually a year since she passed, more or less to the day. And so her year anniversary uh, was a few days ago of her passing. And um, I wore my Man United shirt that I've got for my nan. <laughs> Next question from Big Pete's football shirts. Do you know Big Pete? Hmm. Interesting question. Who's Big Pete again? Who's Big Pete? Oh, yeah. Excuse me, do you know Big Pete? Do you know Big Pete? <laughs> of course I know Big Pete. Big Pete has been on the channel. In fact, I've actually got a video um, featuring Big Pete. He helped me source an absolute grail, right? I've got a video coming out with, for, uh, with Big Pete very, very soon. Well, we know what's inside, but let's just actually look at this shirt because guess what? Yes, this shirt is an actual grail of mine. And it's here, in my hand. Grail. Yeah, I remember seeing this on old FIFA's and thinking, wow, what a shirt this is. I've got it here in my hand. Big Pete, you're a legend. Thank you. Let's open it. Big up, Big Pete. Uh, next, from the football shirt guy. But this is another the football shirt guy. Uh, new series on the channel. Uh, I, I assume that means is there anything new coming to the channel? Um, I want to start putting some more shorts on here. I make a lot of short form content for my Instagram, but I never get around to uploading it onto my YouTube channel. So I'm going to bring my shirt watch from Instagram over here. Anything new? Yes. Uh, I've got a few videos that I've got planned with the missus. So she's going to be coming back on the channel. Um, I've got so much stuff going on, so much creative stuff. I've got so much exciting stuff that I want to do with the channel. It's just a matter of time at the moment, uh, working a full-time job. So if you want to see me do some more stuff, yeah, hit that subscribe. So then YouTube can pay me a little bit of money. So then I don't have to work as much. Yeah, so then I can make more content. That's kind of how it works. So, you know. Next is from uh, Harry Ranzel. Uh, can you do a kit collection video in the near future? Um, I'm assuming that means my entire collection. So about a year, year and a half ago, I started to try and document my entire kit collection. Um, and I saw the best way was to break it up into countries. So, um, on my channel at the moment, there's my shirts from germany my shirts from spain and my shirts from italy um i think but i just haven't got around i've got over 300 shirts um all in different places and trying to get them all together is quite difficult but if you guys really really want me to do an entire um shirt collection video in one video let me know and i'll try and make it happen but it's going to take some serious planning because um, it's a big video. Next question from Mark Bangs. Big up Mark Bangs, by the way. Yeah, he's a content creator. Absolute bad boy. If you can attend any game in Arsenal's history, which game would you go to and why? Oh, dear. That is a crazy question. Um... So the first game that pops out into my head is probably the Champions League final against Barcelona in Paris, even though we lost. Um, but who wants to go to a cup final where you lose? Do you know what? 
the second game that pops into my head is maybe the 1998-1999 away game at Old Trafford where we won 1-0 and Mark Overmars scored. Uh, that's a big moment in my head. Um, that's a really good question. It's actually it's actually thrown me a bit. But do you know what? I'm just going to go with my initial reaction. Even though we lost the final, I'm going to go with the Champions League final against Barcelona um, in Paris in 2006. Next one is from Double A on Twitter. Your top five music artists and what football shirt do you think suits them? That is an amazing question. That's a sensational question. Um, I don't even know who my top five musical artists are. There's so many. It changes weekly. Um, I'm not going to think about it too much. I'm just going to go with five of my favourite rather than my definitive favourite five. I'm just going to go with what's on the top of my head. So, uh, my favourite artist... Notorious B.I.G. is definitely one of my favourite artists. See, now that I'm thinking of Notorious B.I.G. and a football shirt, the only thing I can think of is Heart on Shirts. Bloody hell. Um, he done a New York City FC shirt with um, a painting of Christopher Wallace, Biggie Smalls, Notorious B.I.G. on it. That's all I can think of. Um, next, I'm going to go with... Do you know what? I want to go with JME, yeah? I like JME a lot. He's one of my favourite artists. Um, I'm going to go... This is sick. This is bad, yeah? The Boy Better Know football shirt that they wore in the athlete video. Yeah, that suits him. That's his own shirt. Amy Winehouse is another one of my favourite artists. I'm going to put Amy Winehouse in an Arsenal 1996 away blue lightning bolt shirt. Yeah, half and half. Eminem. I am going to put Eminem in. What can I see Eminem wearing? I can see, do you know what? For some reason, I can see Eminem in a Juventus shirt. I have no idea why. Um, I can just see Eminem in a Juventus home shirt from I'm gonna go like 1992 Juventus home shirt and my final favorite artist oh, I've got so many I'm gonna go with Bob Marley and I can see Bob Marley in a Jamaica 1998 shirt um yeah Next question is from Kit Launch on Twitter. Prime Burkamp or Prime Odegaard? This isn't a question, unfortunately. Um, Prime Burkamp all day long. Um, I mean, Odegaard, I suppose, does have the potential to take it to that level. But well, I suppose Odegaard's not even in his prime yet. He's still a young man. But yeah, Odegaard's going to have to be extremely special to get anywhere near Burkamp's peak. Next one is from Zeke, another friend of the channel. If you could sign one current Spurs player, who would it be? Harry Kane, he's world class. It's never been a mistake. Like, I've never hidden the fact that I think Harry Kane is an absolute top, just gunman striker. Yeah, it would be Harry Kane. I'll take him in a heartbeat. I mean, in reality, Arsenal should be sniffing around him now that he's on the market. Uh, next one is from Mike's Iconic Kits on Twitter. Would you rather go on a lad's holiday with the Invincible team or see Arsenal win the Premier League? Ooh, I would love to go on holiday with the Arsenal Invincible team. But... Ah, oh, man. Of course I want to see Arsenal win the league. Yeah, do you know what? I want to see Arsenal win the league because, you know what? As good as the party would be with like going on holiday with the man them from the team and getting to meet all my heroes and my icons and my idols, listen, the scenes in London, if Arsenal win the league, will just be insane. Like The parade would be insane. It would just be insane. Arsenal winning the league, yeah. 
Next is from DJM Football Kits. Who's your favourite Streets Will Won't Forget player Arsenal edition? Um Streets Won't Forget. I mean the Streets Won't Forget this guy, Santi Cazorla, I can tell you that much. He was an absolute sensational baller. The Streets Will Never Forget Juan Antonio Reyes. Yeah? The streets won't forget Reyes, right? Rest in peace. He was an absolute baller. Um, mention for Andrea Chavin. Right, so the, the next question is from Winx over on Twitter. Your top three city breaks you want to visit and what team slash stadiums are you visiting while you're there? For example, Seville, visit Betis Stadium, example. Um, so... I'm actively trying to get myself over to Milan to see San Siro before it gets knocked down in a couple of years' time. I would love to go and see a match. I'm not overly bothered whether I see AC or Inter. I would love to see both. I would love to go to a derby, for example. Uh, yeah, definitely Milan. And I'm actively trying to make that happen uh, for this current season, for the 2023-24 season. City number two... I mean, I'm finding it very difficult to see beyond going to who Dortmund and seeing the yellow wall in person. Um, yeah, I've got a Dortmund shirt on as we speak. And number three is probably my grail place to go and see. I have no plan. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But I need to get myself over to Argentina, to Buenos Aires and go and see a match in the La Bombonera. Like, the videos of that place are insane. Yeah, the limbs in that, oh man. Like, that is, like, even if you used to ask my missus right now, where the one stadium in the world that I would love to go and watch a football match, that's top of my list. Yeah, yeah. It's good to see Boca Juniors play. Um... Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Like, that, that, that's my answer. And I think that's number one on my list. Um, obviously, the ones in Europe are a bit easier, so they'll probably happen before going out to Argentina. But yeah, Winks, that is top of my list. Like, watch, I get goosebumps watching the videos. So yeah, man, that's it. Once again, thank you so, so much to every single one of you guys that... Um, I've subscribed to the channel. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, thank you for the support. Um, yeah, man. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that. Let's get up to 2,000 subscribers real quick. Um, yeah, man. Like the video. I've been Kit Manor, man. Peace.